I got another Timu PR haul. My last haul was mostly makeup. There were a few things that didn't fit in that full face of makeup video, and so I've saved them to show you this time. And this haul is much more random. I really wanted to do a fashion haul, but I got into that campaign late and a lot of the things I wanted to try were sold out. So I will try to do some fashion items next time, but let's open this up and see what's in here. Most of the things that I got this time are household related, but first I'm gonna show you the three items from my previous haul that I didn't get to. Everything will be listed and linked if it's still available with the price in the description below. Timu did give me a code. The code is OFF, O-F-F, 8872. If you are new to Timu, that will give you a 30% off of your order. If you're not new to Timu and you work through the app, they always have lightning deals. Usually when you open the app, there's a coupon code or spin the wheel or something available. They also have free shipping in the US and they have free returns up to 90 days. So if something isn't the quality that you expect, it doesn't fit, whatever, you can return it. But if you have more than one thing that you're returning in an order, you do need to return them all at the same time. You only get one free return shipping per order. All right, let's dive in. One of the things that I got in my last order was this telescoping magnet tool. And my husband and son were like, what do you need that for? Because they both use it to pick up screws and things like that when they're working on something. Well, I had to keep this out of their little hands because they wanted to steal it. However, if you like to depot your eyeshadows and they are magnetic, a magnet tool like this will allow you to do so without destroying the shadows because a lot of times you have to dig in with a tweezer or something to get the pans out. And I always slip, stick the tweezer or my finger into the shadow and make a mess. But this will lift them right out of there. So it's my tool and they can't have it. I also got the Flawless Face Shaver, and when we opened this, everybody had to give it a try. It comes with the shaver and a cleaning tool. You take the top off like this, and when you turn it on, the little head spins, and you can use that to shave off your peach fuzz. There's a light on it. I don't know that the light really does a whole heck of a lot of good. This one actually uses a battery. The bottom comes off and there's the battery. I have seen that they do have one that chart recharges, um, but this is like $20 if you would buy it at Walmart. And I'll put the price on the screen, but it was significantly less than $20. And it does work, I have used it. And I like to shave my peach fuzz because your makeup lays nicer when you do that. And then the other thing I got in that first order were the tights. These are the ones that when you put them on, they look like your skin through them, but they're still opaque and they're warm. Now, I probably won't be wearing these much anymore since it's getting to be warmer out, but I did wear them in the winter, like with a sweater dress or something, and they're just so warm on your legs. These are the regular size and they fit me very well. They were very stretchy and very comfortable. And when I put my boots on with them, I didn't have to worry about sticking my toes through them because they're thicker and they hold up really well. Okay, so now on to my new things. I'm going to try to edit out the paper crinkling of opening all of these things because I know that can be annoying, especially if you're wearing headphones or earbuds. I did get a couple of makeup related items, not makeup itself, but makeup related. And the first one was this brush set. It comes in this little pouch and it's a travel set. So they're shorter handles, which is nice if you're going somewhere because they don't take up as much room. There are 13 brushes in here, five face brushes and eight eye brushes. And they're very soft. They are a little compact, but I would use this one for powder. This one probably for powder under the eye or highlighter. And then you've got three that are very similar that you could use for blush, bronzer, that sort of thing. This is the only one for some reason that has the boot, but I don't care, I'll take the boots off anyway. And then the eye brushes, you have a fluffy blending brush, you have a pencil brush, a flat shader. This one would probably be like an inner corner. There's an eyeliner brush, it's a sharp edge. And then a couple more 
this one's an angled liner brush and then a couple more shader brushes. So I think you could definitely get a complete eye look with those brushes. And mostly I got them because I was curious about their brushes. I don't know that I actually need more brushes. They were very inexpensive, but I might put them in a giveaway because I'm kind of in the mid 700s with subscribers and I'm planning an 800 subscriber giveaway. So if you want to help me get there faster, if you're not subscribed, then please do so. And if you know somebody who might appreciate my content, please share it with them. I would appreciate that very much. Another makeup related item I got is this cute set of face sponges. And I had gotten some face sponges from e.l.f. when they had their sale, and I have no idea what I did with them. So my face sponge is about done for, and I needed some new ones. And I thought these were so pretty. This was the purple set. They had lots of different colors. And there's one in there that has the flat edge on the teardrop shape. This one is the standard teardrop. They are very soft and they feel like they would be great when you wet them. This one has a flat bottom and then teardrop on the other end. And this is the same shape. But I just thought they were so pretty, this purple color. I think they had green and pink and maybe like a nude beige kind of color. And then they have the little case. And then the last makeup related thing, I saw Leanna Dalton got one of these. I'll, any channel that I mentioned, by the way, I will link down below. This is a pencil holder, and I'm going to put this on my vanity and put my eye pencils and maybe my three favorite mascaras and my pencil sharpener in there, and I think that will be a great way to store them. Right now I have them just in a wire pencil holder cup, but I think they might be easier to see laying in this like that. I'll put them in here, and then at some point in another video I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Here is the eyeliner pencil holder all set up. I have my pencil sharpener right here. And then I stuck the little magnet tool in here because I thought it would be a good place to keep it. On the bottom, I have all of my lower waterline liners. So the brightening liners are there. I have my colors in the center and then I have my browns and blacks on top. And that is way too many brown and black eyeliners. I am going to be doing a declutter of these soon. I think I'm going to do probably complexion products next, but but this is due for a declutter as well. But I really love how everything is in there and it's much easier to see what each is and to be able to reach for if I'm looking for a color, if I'm looking for a lower waterline, black, brown or black, versus when they were all just jammed together in a cup. So I'm very happy with how that turned out. And honestly, I think I want another one for my lip liners because it would be really nice to be able to sort them by like pinks, nudes, reds kind of thing. So yeah, I think I might want another one. I was wrong, there's one more. This is going to sit on my vanity and this is a Q-tip holder. Typically, I just put a whole bunch of them into a cup holder and then other stuff gets in there and they fall down because the holder's bigger than the Q-tips and then I have to like fish down in there to get them or they get dirty. And so I got a Q-tip holder. I wanted one for a long time and I finally just decided to order one. And this is what it looks like when it's all full. So this makes me really happy because they're going to stay clean, they're easy to get to, and they're not going to be all either all over a tray that I put them in or they're not going to be down too far inside of a cup that I can't get to them. Sometimes it really is the little things. Okay, moving into the household items, I do not know exactly why I got this. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it's quite a bit smaller than I thought it would be. And this is a mini sealing machine. So like if you want to seal a bag of chips or something like that. And I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work. Oh, you're going to need to put batteries in it. Looks like two AA batteries. And then I guess... Open the upper cover, open the battery to install and cover it. So there's a safety guard that you close like that. I'm not exactly sure how you turn it on or if you just, when you put the batteries in, if it turns on. So I might have to investigate this a little bit more. Wonder of wonders, I was actually able to find two AA batteries. So let's put these in here. Okay, I'm gonna try to seal this bag. So you put it in here and you run it, whoops, you put it in and run it across and it cuts it and it is sealed. Oh my goodness. So, but it's not hot. 
I mean, I probably shouldn't have touched it, but I think it just gets hot when it touches the other side because, I mean, you can see the smoke there. So apparently it got hot. And then it has this guard here so that it can't touch it if you don't want it to. Okay, I'm gonna try and see if I can seal a bag of chips. This little gadget is for cleaning your windshield in the car. You know how it's really hard, you try to get down in there and you're like, you can't get down close to the, to the dashboard and everything, or we have a truck and an SUV and I'm not very tall and so getting that makes is difficult as well. So you put the handle on and you put the little microfiber cloth on there and you can just use this to clean that windshield and it'll help get down close to the dashboard. And if you have a tall vehicle, it will help get the windshield and just clean it. So I will see, sometimes they just get foggy and this microfiber is really good for cleaning that. This was an item that I tried to get in my last haul, but it was sold out. And this is a hair catcher that you put in your washing machine. If you have pets or if you just have long hair, my daughter and I both have long hair, there is nothing more frustrating than having a hair inside your shirt tickling you and you can't get it or inside your sleeve. And so this is supposed to float on top of the water in your laundry and collect the hair in this little net. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I'll let you know. Water bottles can sometimes be very expensive and so I got this one. It's a 32 ounce water bottle and it has the times on here. So if you drink this much each hour, then, and you fill it, then you will have gotten 64 ounces of water in a day. I have another one like this, but it broke. And so I was glad to replace it. It also came with some cute stickers. If you're buying it for a younger child or something like that, who likes to decorate their water bottles, it has some stickers. It's not insulated, so it's not gonna keep your water cold or anything like that. But I typically drink room temperature water because ice hurts. They may have insulated wa water bottles as well that are gonna be a little more expensive probably, but I just like the regular one like this. Because then these I can stick in the dishwasher. You're not supposed to put those insulated ones in the dishwasher. Sometimes when you get things from Timu, because of the way they're packaged, the boxes don't really survive very well, but I have not yet had something that was damaged in shipping because usually stuff like this is packed inside and there's softer things around the outside, um, but the boxes do get kind of bent up. And so this is just a phone holder for your car and I'm not exactly sure how the clip system works. You can, you can clip this on your desk. You can clip it on your rear mirror, on your dash. Um, it's got a very strong clip. So once you clip it on, it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm about afraid I'm going to get my fingers stuck. And then it has like a grippy, smooth surface so that it won't damage the surface of whatever you clip it to. And you, you push here and this opens up and then you put your phone in here and it'll clamp on it. So, and then this also swivels so that you can do landscape or portrait. I had a phone mount for my car, but it broke. And so this was a replacement for that. I only have one more item. And this one came in the Temu Ziploc bags. Most of the stuff from my other order came like this. So my last item is a sofa cover and it's like a kind of a, I don't know, fleece sort of a thing. It has, these little foam pieces that you stick down to hold hold it down in the armrests and the, and the seat cushion in the back. Our couches are kind of a woven material and I have eczema on my arms and my legs and that texture irritates my skin. So I'm going to go put this on the sofa, take a picture of it. I'll put it right here so you can see what it looks like and I'll update you on how it fits, how easy it was to put on that kind of stuff. Be right back. So I put it on and it's okay. I mean, it doesn't fit perfectly, but it looks better than the sheet that I had thrown over it before. And it is comfortable. So we'll see how well it stays on. Like when you sit on it, if it pulls it down or, you know, that kind of stuff, if it gets weird, but it is washable. So you can take it off and wash it. And um, it has little ties on the four sides. So I guess that you could tie it underneath, which might be a little hard to get to but um, it would probably help it stay on better. The little picture shows it fitting all the way over the couch down to the bottom. 
and it does not on my couch fit like that. Um, it won't go all the way down in the back. It only goes about halfway. But as you can see in the picture, it does fit side to side. Doesn't go down all the way to the sides either on either side. So if you have a smaller couch, um, mine is a love seat that I put it on. And you would think with the two seater that it would fit, but it's a little bit short. It doesn't go down far enough, but it was very inexpensive. And I think it might be a good option if you don't want to spend a lot on a slip cover. Again, if you use my code OFF8872, that lets Timu know that you came from my video and I get a little bit of credit for my video doing well, which increases the amount that I can spend in PR later. But of course, there's no obligation to use that code. And if you've already ordered from Timu before, then you're not going to be able to use it anyway. I don't know how many more Timu hauls I'm going to do. Um, I would really like to check out their fashion. And so if that is available to me at some point, I will do that. But I don't want to buy a lot of things just to buy a lot of things because then I have to find places to put them. And my curiosity is kind of satiated at this point. The quality is about what I expected it to be, but in some cases it's a lot better than I expected it to be. And if you're into gadgets and gizmos, then it's just so much fun. Oh, the other thing is because they're really busy, the shipping can be delayed, but they will give you an estimated shipping time. And if it's later than that, then they give you a $5 credit to use at another time. And also, I think they have some kind of a price match. I have not had to use that because so far the things that I've gotten have been in PR. But if you find it elsewhere for cheaper, they will match that price. And if you have purchased something and then it comes up for sale at a better price later, they will also credit your account, which is pretty cool, I think. So have you purchased from Timu? Let me know your favorite Timu product that you have gotten down below, or if you haven't purchased from them, do you intend to in the future? If you haven't seen my Timu makeup PR haul, I will put that one right here for you to check out, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye-bye.